Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Today I am going to show you how to make an aluminum cup that you can hang over a fire to boil water. So stay tuned. Alright, so the quickest way this has to be start out as a square sheet of foil. I would recommend doubling it over. Now to make sure you get a nice square sheet of foil to start with doubled over is to make a triangle don't uh, crease that seam too hard because you're going to unfold it okay So now since that's unrolled from that, I'm just going to cut it here, just as square as I possibly can, instead of using the tear strip on the box. So that makes sure that you have a nice piece the right size to do this. So then what you do, you double it over. Make sure this edge is somewhat square. You can fold that over just a little bit like I'm doing there just to make sure it's, you know, a nice clean edge. And then you fold it again in half and make a triangle. You don't have to be an origami master to figure this out. It's actually really simple. After you have your triangle, you take this and fold it up about like that so it touches the edge and then this will give you an idea where this one needs to go. That first one is harder to figure out. So then you can fold that edge over flip it over, fold that edge over, and then you have your cup. Now, if you want to be able to hang it over a fire, because let's face it, this isn't going to stand up, obviously. You could lean it up against a rock if you wanted to, but I just uh, I wanted to add the, the, uh, the like bucket loop wire onto it just to show you to make things a little bit easier. So you know that uh, roll of brass wire that everybody seems to throw in their bug out bags and their survival kits and uh, everything else? But you've never seen it in one of my survival kit videos. Not my get home bag, not my Altoids tin. I don't do it because I've been trapping for a long time, a couple decades, and I just don't think it would work that well. Um, I, and I, I, I am absolutely sure that any normal civilian that has never been out trapping before is not going to be able to get it to work either. Or they're going to have a hard time figuring it out. So what you do with this, I just went a couple inches past, wider than my cup. So then, you stick the cup through underneath these flaps. And I'm not unraveling this whole piece of wire for a reason. You can cut it off and, uh, and do it again, but I just find it easier to do it this way. It's less bending of wire. Okay, so once you have that going, on both sides here then you fold these flaps down and you pull out a little more wire and 
And then I'll cut that off right there. And then this other side, if you can see that little piece sticking out right there, thread through that, bend it over, crease it somewhat decent, and then twist that around. Straighten that up, make it into a V. It'll hang pretty nice over your campfire. And just to prove to you how well this works, got that filled pretty well to the brim and there you go and that is how you make a cup out of tin foil and boil over the fire that is the simplest way I have come up with anyhow there are a couple of other ways where you can just fold roll over the edges um, I have done that before and I've, I've had leaks so I don't trust that way anymore so there you go so what is the purpose of doing this? Well, the main purpose is boiling water. Uh, you know, that's that's the absolute tried and true way of purifying water that you uh, get out of a, off of a stream or out of a lake or whatever. Um, you can also cook in this. Uh, you know, hanging it over the fire, it works kind of like a, you know, kind of like a Dutch oven, I would guess, I would say. Uh, you know, not near as durable obviously but uh, you know you can make stew in this you know catch a rabbit pick you some wild onions maybe get some cattail roots and make a stew out of it so uh, if you didn't know about the cattail roots uh, they're a starch just like a potato basically so uh, you gotta watch what time of year you get them they're they're very they're extremely bitter uh, at the wrong time of year in the fall I believe fall early winter so you know when when everything's dying off but there you go uh that was one tip i had not seen you know i, I looked looked this up on youtube to see if anybody else you know if, if there were a ton of videos on this i wouldn't have bothered doing it but uh uh i didn't see any others you know in the first couple of pages on doing it like this so just want to show you that and uh you know thanks for watching See you next time.